And here's the project we're going to do today. I am calling this Bridge Over Peaceful Waters. And for this project, uh, I used Strathmore 300 series cold press watercolor paper. This is the 140 pound. I also used a watercolor brush, a number four watercolor brush. I used the black velvet silver brush. And I don't know how well you can see that. I also used uh, the stamp positioning tool by Art Impressions. And the markers that were used, I used Tombow markers and I used number 725, number 249 for the green, number 565, and number 969. And I also used some Stamping Up Garden Green ink. And I forgot, we also used the Tombow number 636 marker. Okay, for the stamps that were used, I used Art Impressions. This is number 5122, the WC Bridge set. And we used the large bridge here. We also used the number 5126 WC Foliage Set 4. And we used these two vines. We used number 4603, the Blooming Birdhouse. And we used the filler flowers for this one. We also used the foliage set 4051. And we used that for the small grass set. The number 5009, the WC mini flower set. And we used both these mini, this little flower bundle as well as this little leaf right here. And on the number 4964 WC branches set, we used these two branches here. And let's begin. Okay, we'll stop, start by stamping the bridge. And for this, I'm going to use a stamp positioner. And I'm going to use a Tombow multi mark. Uh, dual tip marker. I'm going to use number 969 and I'm going to just ink up. I'm going to stamp it on my stamp positioner. Position the bridge about where I want it. And I'll re ink. I'm going to use a number four water brush. I'm going to dip it in water. Then I'm going to squeeze off the extra water with my fingers. And then I'm going to bring out the color in the lines. And I got some paint here, so I'm just going to put some clean water on it. Next I'm going to use the vines and I'm going to use a Tombow marker number 249. Okay, next I'll wet my brush and then I'm just going to dab at the vines. Okay, next I'm going to use the filler flower and I'm going to use a Tombow marker number 725 and I am just going to color in these top three flowers here and then I'm going to put the flowers in here and I'm going to do it by doing a circular motion. Paintbrush. Squeeze off the excess water, and then I'm just going to dab at these blossoms. Okay, next I'm going to use Tombow 969, and I'm going to 
use this little branch and just to make sure that I don't get over that I'm going to put a little mask here and I'm going to stamp one here and also on the other side I will stamp one right like that okay Okay, I'm going to use a Tombow marker 565 and I'm going to put a little bit of it onto my palette. I'm going to wet my brush, squeeze off the excess water and pick a little bit up off the palette and then I'm just going to color in some water underneath the bridge. And now I'm going to add some number 969 to my palette. And I am going to just continue the path. And maybe put a little bit of a shadow underneath the bridge here. And then I'll also start to color in the bridge a little bit more. I'm going to add some of my 249, the green, to the palette. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of green on the other side of the bridge here. Okay, I'm going to use some Stamping Up Garden Green. And I'm going to use my little grass stamp and I will add some grass and add it with a walking motion. Okay, I'll take my water, squeeze off the excess and uh, this is one of the rare times we're going to do a brushing up motion. Okay, now we're going to add our little wildflowers. I'm going to use number 636 Tombow Marker for the flowers. So I'll just ink up the flowers and the number 249 for the stems. And I'll just uh, do a couple here. Okay, take some water, squeeze off. And I'm just going to pat the flowers. And I'll maybe take some more of the grass to ground out the shoreline here a little bit better. I'm also going to take some of my Stampin' Up! Garden Green and press on it so that I have a little palette here. And I will pick up some of the green from the palette and just fill in over here. And take a little bit of the 696 off the palette and add a little brown into this also. Okay, I'm going to take these branches. I'm going to use number 969 Tombow Marker. Okay, before I put the leaves in, I want to color in the sky, so I'm going to put number 565 Tombow on my palette. And I'm going to 
dilute it quite a bit with water and then I will just start brushing in the sky. Okay, I'm going to give the sky a chance to dry before I put on the leaves and as soon as that is dry we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to use the little leaves and I'm going to use my 249 Tombow marker and I am just going to color in the leaves part, the little teeny tiny branch that's coming below, I'm not going to. And I'm just going to stamp it more than once. I'm going to take my brush, wet it, squeeze it dry, and then I'm just going to dab the leaves to soften them. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more of the 565 to my palette, wet my brush, and then I'm going to darken a little bit more under the bridge. And also I'm going to use this wherever I'm going to have more shadow. Okay, now I'm going to use the fine tip of my number 969, the brown, and I'm just going to add some little birds up in the sky. And the final thing I'm going to do with the, the same brown marker and the fine tip is sign and date it. And then I will also spray this with an acrylic coating to protect it. And uh, as soon as I've sprayed it and all finished, we'll show, come back with the final product. Okay, and here's the final project. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and uh, bye for now.